Want to keep up with the latest Komodo gaming videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Tiny Town VR. And yes, folks, we are back once again. And today, we are back with the continuing battle here between the clones and everything else here in Tiny Town. So if you missed the last episode, I'm going to flash it in the top right corner. We had Mega Granny going up against a robot that is emerging from the city. And yes, you can see the tank battle that's happening. There's just a ton of chaos happening. Now, one thing I pointed out on the last episode, and you guys really wanted to see it. Now, let me pull it out here. You guys really wanted to see this battleship get used. So what I think is actually happening, the Grannies, they have a navy, and they're actually defending uh, the shore here of this island. They might actually be on the other side, too. And so I'm going to have, like, a battleship battle, and then I think we're going to bring back some of the creatures uh, from the ocean. I've got a couple new ones. And we'll have them battling with the grannies out in the ocean. And then the grannies will also be uh, shelling the uh, the land here and trying to help the uh, the land. Are we going to call it land grannies? That sounds a little weird, doesn't it? Uh, they're going to be helping the ground forces here. So we're going to be using that. I know it looks a little weird on this battleship. I noticed from one side uh, it doesn't really seem to want to appear, but it is there, I can assure you. So we'll have to kind of stick that down in the ocean a little bit. But I've got that. I've got a couple other ships that we can use here today. If you guys have any suggestions for future Tiny Town episodes, comment below. And if you're enjoying Tiny Town on the channel, maybe hit that thumbs up button. It helps out my channel. And let's get to work. All right. So I've set up the first little scene here. So you can see what's happening. we got the battleships coming in. I actually placed some uh, helicopters on the back of them to make them look a little bit more uh, busy. Now, I did figure out this battleship scale is actually the scale of people. Like, it is truly that big. Hold on, let me grab somebody. So if I were to grab a person and set them on deck, it would be like that. So we'll definitely have some grannies on the deck here. I don't wonder if I have some form of AA gun that I can stick here. I know we've got some turrets on the side. But I would like to see some more uh, anti-air protection. So you see that we have the submarines right here. It would have to be really deep <laughs> if they're going to be this close to the shore. But we're going to say that that's just a massive drop off and it gets really deep. That way the subs could be there. Uh, they might be launching missiles out, uh, striking some of the air targets and stuff like that. I really, really wish we had an aircraft carrier. And that's something that we don't have in a tiny town. Because how cool would it be to have like a huge aircraft aircraft carrier will be launching planes off of it and they'll be heading in to help with the battle now one other thing I should point out here is the whole fact this is tying this back area together uh, where we had the uh, the river for the whole lightning forest disaster that river is actually fed through the ocean here so you'll see it run through there and then of course we're wrapping around to the uh, the super volcano back there so I've got some more stuff to do here. We're going to have a full-on attack. Now, as far as I'm thinking about this, we got to have some stuff in the water. Now, somebody complained the other day, and I'm going to go ahead and point it out. Where is it? Oh, our shark beach is back here. I called one of these a megalodon. I think it was this one, and they were like, that's not a megalodon. That's not big enough. So we're going to make a really, really big shark, and it's going to be here off the shore. It's probably going to be taking out one of those subs. Uh, the grannies are going to have all sorts of fits here. Now, one last thing real quick. If we need, like, a, an operation name, you know how they always have, like, the cool operation names for, like, battles and uh, wars and stuff like that? Our operation is going to be called Saving Private Mittens, and we have a cat here. This is going to be the new granny mascot because this looks amazing. We have a cat. Uh, we'll figure out where we're going to stick mittens, but, yeah, that's what this is called. This is Operation Saving Mittens, which is basically save the town. All right, let me get back to work. All right, so you can see that I have been very busy here. So we have a beach landing also with the grannies. Now what you're seeing here, I'm using these barges, even though they aren't technically powered. I think they're all towed, but this is as close to like a landing craft slash Higgins boat uh, that I can find. So we've used these before in our D-Day invasion way over there on that side, but this is a granny invasion. Uh, which, really, they're not invading. They're trying to defend the homeland. I'm assuming some granny forces were offshore somewheres, so they're coming back to help defend. So what you're seeing, they stack these grannies in pretty tight on these boats. They don't even give them supplies. The supplies are waiting at the beach. 
Uh, that way they can keep maximum grannies on here and they airdrop in the supplies. So you can see I have a ton of boats here and the grannies are arriving and they are pretty angry right now. So we've got that going on. Over here I finally have my Megalodon and it is actually taking out one of the granny subs. It's like fully biting into it. Probably gonna take it down. Probably also going to get a shell to the face somewhere uh, from one of the battleships. Now the battleships, I've still got to do some work on that. I've got to add some grannies out in the water because some of the boats did go down, as you can see. But I've also added some other things. You have like the, uh, the I don't think this was called the Kraken. I think it's just like a huge octopus. I think we had a Kraken somewhere else. Actually, I think we did call it a Kraken. Well, we've got another one over here. It's going after some of the uh, the ships. You've got a giant well up here. Uh, there's another shark fin over there. So anything that's happened bad in the waters, that's happening here. Maybe we'll have a tsunami coming in behind them. <laughs> That'd be horrible. Actually, you know, we can't wipe out the granny force like that. So a couple things I need to add. I need to add some grannies out in the water. We're going to have some parachutes coming down uh, with supplies like crates and stuff. We'll have some air force, which man, I, it's still killing me about that aircraft carrier. I need to look around and make sure I don't have one. But yeah, we'll have them coming in, attacking. We're going to move some of the flies and stuff over on this side. That way we have a big epic air battle. And we can really just kind of wrap this whole area up. And just make it look like a huge fight over here. So, let me get back to work. But we will probably have another part of this, by the way. So if you see anything that I should add to this area, let me know. All right, so it is time for another progress update. You can see I've added more detail to the shark. We got some splashing going on here. I've added supplies all up and down the beach now. We have airdrops coming in of tanks. You got all the, I guess those are Apache helicopters. I don't want to say Apaches, but you know, we're gonna call them Apaches. You've got all of those, those are coming in, which looks amazing. I've added some more detail to the uh, the Kraken out there. Now, another cool thing that I've done, I've actually had it to where they're loading up uh, troops here. So you can see the grandmas are loading up into the boat. They don't need a ladder or anything. They'll just jump off the side because they are super soldiers. So they'll just jump off into the boat. Uh, you can see they've got supplies here. Uh, they're starting to load it up, probably take it in via helicopter. These aren't exactly setting level on the ship there we go i think this one's going to be taken off so we'll have this one lifting off this way that looks cool and i was thinking you know last episode or last couple episodes we've been trying to figure out who actually runs the grannies and i'm thinking potentially it's the kitty they're petting i'm not really sure i mean cats are very i don't want to say evil but they have really unique minds so maybe this is something a cat's capable of doing right that seems perfectly logical. <laughs> oh boy. Alright, so we've got that. We need to really work on some of the onshore stuff now. Because that just looks amazing. That looks like a full-blown invasion is happening. Uh, they're just now arriving to the shoreline. And there's uh, going to be some more battling in here. So I need to add some trees through this area. And try to wrap it up. Also, they're probably going to the front lines to try to help defend the factory itself. Question is, does the grandmas, do they have something else? Maybe they do have like an island or something. You know, maybe we can build an island like way out there. That would be cool too. Maybe that'll explain where their navy actually uh, sets. Uh, that would be awesome. All right, so let me go ahead and continue to work here. I'm gonna add some buildings to this area, uh, but I think I'm pretty happy with what we have so far. All right, so I think we've pretty much wrapped up the ground portion of this. I still have some trees to add, but you can see that I've actually filled this all the way to the city now so you got like a gas station over here just made it look like it used to be maybe a tourist uh, destination and now it's actually a beach assault going on right now so you've got that you got some people running around here you can see the grannies are lined up and ready to go uh, these are some from the beach uh, you got the tanks up here they're all marching into battle to get in on all of this over here. So the last thing I want to do, I want to go ahead, let's grab this fly here. There we go. We need to add some of these going into combat here to try to stop the Granny Navy. There we go. So we've added those. This looks like pure chaos. I like it. I like it a whole lot. So let's go ahead and zoom in here. So yeah, I'll give you guys kind of an overview of what we've all built today. We've built a lot. We got the whole shoreline built. Uh, we'll need to wrap it around. I think I'll put like a rocky face on the back side of the island here. And then maybe we'll have another bridge that potentially goes off either to the right or to the left. 
I don't know, there's so many possibilities what we can do next, but we will probably, uh, over the next couple episodes, we might do one more Granny Clone one here uh, to continue the battle, but we will be moving back to a little bit more traditional disasters if you guys have any ideas for that. But yeah, I am super happy with this. I do want to thank the workshop creators for all the cool custom items. They really tied the city together. But anyways, I think it's going to wrap it up for this episode of Tiny Town VR. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. Thank you guys for all the love and support. And we will see you guys next time in Tiny Town VR. Thank you. Thank you.